It's like kind of hard, but it's fun as well. It's like together hard and fun. You get to play games and I learn more math problems. I can learn math facts and have fun at the same time. I just started yesterday and I'm addicted to it. The kids love it and they play it over and over and over again. What I like about playing reflex is everything. I'd like them to come to me knowing all their math facts, but they just, they don't. Most kids don't. If they don't have fluency in their facts, they can't move on or they can't free up enough of their little brain cells to do the actual harder algorithms. When a student first logs on, it's going to assess them and it's going to automatically differentiate instruction, which we all try to do to the best of our ability. Reflex math does it automatically and it does it in a way that's engaging and fun. When they go to different games, it knows which facts they need to work on. So if they switch from game to game, it has the exact facts that are right for that student to be working on that day. So you can imagine a teacher trying to do that with 25 students. As much as the intent is there, this is doing it one-on-one -on -one every single day. Their attention span is much longer. The game being tailored specifically to their ability level and allowing them some success early on is hugely important. Yes! They're learning their math facts through reflex, and it's just one less thing I have to teach. The National Math Advisory Panel in 2008 actually came out with some recommendations. And in those recommendations, they really highlighted how lack of math fact fluency can really harm a student's downstream progress in mathematics. There's two main issues. One is more complex mathematical skills often involve solving a lot of math facts. Um, so if you're shaky with those math facts, uh, skills like estimating, uh, computing with fractions, solving algebraic equations all become much more slow and error prone. Second, research shows the lack of math fact fluency doesn't just make you slower and less accurate with new skills. It really can make it harder to learn the new skills in the first place. As human beings, our working memory is very limited. We can only work with so much information at a time before our brains get overloaded. If we can recall those facts quickly and effortlessly from long-term memory, then we can concentrate all of our working memory on the new skill and our chances of success really go up. Sometimes I don't get the answer right, but I just sometimes I know them. Like, Quick. I like the ability to go in and see each student's growth. I can see class growth. I can see how much time they've spent outside of the classroom using the product. What we're seeing is that kids who use Reflex a lot are really outperforming their peers in standardized testing. We had one group of students, a uh, group of sixth graders, who the year before in fifth grade, 50% of them had passed the state test. So 50% of them had failed. The year they used Reflex extensively, those same kids, 94% of them passed the state test. They actually beat the district average at the end of sixth grade. I'm the last stop in elementary school before they go to middle school, and I do not want to send any child into the sixth grade without knowing their facts. Reflex is a huge asset that allows me to meet that goal for my students.